Hi there, I beg for today we're going to look at some hidden staircases. So these are flush and seamless hidden staircases. I'm going to show you a couple of different variations of that. So this is the first one and this is bust operated. So I can press this button. The staircase will open and you can see that's all seamless down there. And it will automatically close. Now it's not seamless at this side when you're at the bottom. Um, I guess if you wanted that you'd have to make some kind of door here. But I've also got a button down here I can press and it'll open and I can walk back up. Okay, so that's number one. Number two is using a lever. And I can press the lever and that staircase will now stay open until I close it again. Um, but I can also go to the bottom and I can close it using this lever and open it again. They both use exactly the same main circuit, which is this thing over here. And this is made up of a triple piston extender on the right hand side there. A double piston extender and a single piston extender. Yes, that's right. A single piston extender, commonly known as a piston. And this whole thing is pretty compact. So we've got about uh, what five blocks by four blocks here. And this does work, so I can pull that lever and this will open up. I can do it again to close it, okay? And we're gonna to need to add a little bit more circuitry for the bus opening, which is stuff in the gray blocks here, that's the pulse extender. Or for the lever opening, this thing is a logic gate called an XOR gate. Okay, so that's the additional little bits we're gonna to have to add to turn it into either bus operated or lever operated. Okay, so let's dive straight in. The most complicated part of this circuit is the triple piston extender. So um, let's talk very quickly about how this work. Here I've got three pistons and I've got a little torch tower and the torch tower will turn on these pistons start from the bottom allowing more to extend up like so. When I turn it off, they don't all just come back. This top block gets pulled down but the pistons don't. So I then need to work out how to get them down. And I've marked these positions as position one, position two, three, and four, representing the observers one, two, three, and four. So how do we get these to all come down? Well, the first thing we need to do is um, pulse piston three, or position three, like that. And then one, sorry, one down here and four can happen at the same time. So actually one and four, because they don't interfere with each other. And then I need to bring this one down. So I'm going to pulse two, and then the top block, pulse three. So it goes three, one and four together, two and three. So that's what we need our, our circuit to do. And let's get into looking how we build that. I'm going to do my building here, and um, the you'll need a couple of blocks of space below the bottom piston of the triple piston extender. Uh, I'm actually going to come up one, two, three, four, five blocks. Place my three blocks for the triple. And that's what we're starting with because that's the most difficult bit. Down diagonally from uh, the, the lower piston, place a block here and come up one, two, three, four, five, six blocks like that. And then from here, come out one, skip a block, come out one, skip a block, come out one. And we're just going to break these blocks here to make a, a little kind of staircase. And that's going to be where our torch tower is. And you can see we'll place all those torches. Those pistons are extended. And if I now grab a lever, I can bring those back and extend them up again. I'm just going to put a block up on top here just so I can see what's happening properly. Um, and you'll remember that we said that the first thing we need to do is position three, which is one, two, three. That's this piston. So that's pretty simple. We're just going to watch this torch. Turn the corner. And here I want a glass block with redstone dust on it. And I'll connect that piston and I'll pulse that piston. So we can already see. There we go. So after three, we want to do number one and number four. Let's start off with one. So that's simple again. Let's come down here, observers, turn the corner, 
and have a solid block just there. So that's your one done. And we also want to do number four. So come down again, come out one. I don't need that block anymore. And here you want a repeater, which is going to be on two ticks. Like that. A block in front of that repeater. Come up diagonally. And then come up diagonally again, but this time with a glass block here. And you can just put dust all the way along there. And now we should be able to, um, we're more than halfway there, actually. So you can see number one and number four have gone again. So now I just need to do number two, and then this one will get pulled down, and number three to pull down the top block. So how do we do number two? That's pretty straightforward. I'm going to place a block here with a repeat on it. And this one's going to be on three ticks. Okay, so make sure you get your repeat timings right. It's really important. This one's on two. This one's on three. And we're going to place one more repeater. But first I want to place an observer looking at this lower bit of dust there. Put a block on top of that. A block here with a repeat on it, and this one will be on four ticks. And then just a solid block in front of that repeater. Um, that's not going to power this piston, it's going to power this dust underneath, so that when that piston gets pulled down, it'll power it here. So our triple piston extender should now be working. Let's extend it, and let's watch it come back. There we go. Perfect. So I'll start with extended and now we'll move on to the double, which is going to be really simple. Okay, so I'm starting on this side with my triple piston extender actually extended because it's going to help us. And I'll put a piston alongside the middle one and alongside the top one. And I can put a block on top of there for the time being. Now to extend these, uh, that's pretty straightforward. So I've got a torch here, which is powering this block. So I place a block next to that with redstone dust on it. So I'll power that top one. Same down here, a block next to this torch, redstone dust on top of that. That'll power this piston. So now I've got it extended, that's great. Let's bring it back down. And now to um, power this piston first to pull this one down, and then we'll power this piston in this position to pull the top block down. So I'm going to do the same as I did before. I'm going to watch this same torch, but this time I'm going to come into a solid block here and place another block there with a one tick repeater on it. And that's going into another solid block by the side of this piston. So I'll pulse that one. That's pretty straightforward. And then over here, I want to, um, to remember where we had the observer watch this bottom bit of dust. It stepped up. I'm going to step up one more with dust here. And then remember this piston will get pulled down to there. So I want some glass. Uh, actually, it could be solid. But with a one tick repeater on there. Should we give that a go? Both extend and they both retract. So you can see now that this is a step lower than this one, which is exactly what we want because we're trying to make a staircase. The last thing we need to do then is our um, single piston extender. This is the easiest of all, of course. The piston's got to go there, level with this one when it's extended out. Block on top. And all I need to do is just extend this to the side with some redstone on there. And that's the whole thing working. Okay. So all we need to do now is look at some of the circuits which will allow us to turn it on and off. I'm going to quickly extend it out again so we can see where the floor level is going to be. And we can um, just build a little bit of a, a platform around there so we can see where we're building. Like that. And if you think about where the stairs are going to be, they're going to come out here. So we're also going to have a little bit of a platform just along here. 
Then we're going to have walls, which will cover in what's going on at the sides here. Same there. And that should now be pretty much seamless. Um, let's open it up. There we go. So you can't see any redstone components at all in here. We'll now come back to the side where your lower platform is. And if you look underneath, um, remember this observer we talked about before, where we did the stepping up. So on the side where that observer is, which on, in my case is the right hand side, I mean, you could have done it's mirrored, right? So the side where that observer is, we're gonna place a button just here. And then up above that, on this side here, we're going to place a button just there as well. So this is the one that's going to open the steps and be able to walk down the steps and end up down here, okay? And then we're going to place some concrete along here with redstone dust on it. When that button is pressed, it'll light this concrete. And I'm going to um, place a block underneath here just there with redstone dust in it as well. When I press this button, it'll light that redstone. Now take a sticky piston. We're going to place it here. A redstone block on top of there. So when I press this press, that redstone block's going to come down and I want it to come down to here and light some redstone dust on this block. And then I'm gonna come up here and down here along like this. And I'm gonna create this shape here. And this is gonna be our pulse extender. And where's my lever? My lever's over here. So the way I'm gonna build it is I'm gonna put two Comparators pointing kind of back towards where the piston is and one comparator on the top facing the other way. Then put redstone dust on the other two spots like that. And one more block above that redstone dust on the face of that comparator. So this is your pulse extender. When I press this, it'll light it up. Even when it retracts, it'll stay on for a little while. And we're going to use that to power this block here. So rather than using the lever. So how are we going to do that? Um, I don't know, let's have a think. Um, I'm going to need to come underneath and along like this and probably just take some redstone dust down like that. Put a repeater here and some redstone dust just there. That'll probably do a trick. Let's give it a try. Perfect. And hopefully the same thing happens on this side. Great. So that's the button operated version. Okay, let's have a look at the lever version. So we'll need a lever here and a lever here. Same place as we had the um, buttons before. Then come down here. This torch is one we want to turn off. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to have a block under here, come out one, break this one, we don't need it, and some redstone dust on there, and then come out one, cross one, and up. And this block here is going to have a torch on the side powering that redstone dust. Seems to be working up there. Make a line of two blocks here, put a line of four blocks behind that, another four behind that. And then you want some comparators on these two blocks here. They have to be in subtract mode with those front lights lit. A bit of dust spam and a solid block here and here. And then we just need to join these two blocks up to our inputs. So one of them is here. We we'll put a block underneath that with some redstone dust on it. And I'm going to come out this way diagonally and then just come down stepping down like so 
except that this block needs to be a glass block like that. And then we're just going to put some dust on there. So the glass allows this redstone here to connect down to this point behind the comparator. And then the second one, we're going to do similar to what we did before, which we're going to run some blocks along here. But at this point, we're going to step down one like that, and then just keep stepping down. Don't need those. And connect this up with redstone dust all the way along. And hopefully, that'll now work. There we go. Close it. I can open it. And I can come up here and I can close it from the other side. All right, that's it then. So thank you very much. Uh, if you're still here, that hopefully means you don't absolutely hate everything I do. Um, in which case, I encourage you to check out the channel. There's lots of other interesting stuff on there. And uh, I hope to see you again soon. All right, cheers. Bye-bye.